It was very common in the 70s, 80s and 90s and early 2000s for a family to use blank VHS tapes and record their favourite TV shows. Most of the time, tapes have been recorded over numerous times. And now it's up to me to find the lost mystery VHS tape and see what shit we can salvage. This is mystery tape time. <laughs> I knew you would come back. <laughs> Welcome back to Mystery Tapes. This is episode two. Two! I get excited about tapes. I get excited about VHS tapes. I get excited about mystery tapes. Mystery tapes are fucking awesome. I love putting them in, watching the good old three hours, fast forwarding through the fucking TV shows that I don't want to watch, but the commercials. It's all about the commercials. Now, I already know this is probably going to be 1988 or in the 80s because it says... Underwater World, 1988. So this tape says Underwater World, 1988, Age of Reason, John Farnham. We're about to determine if this is 1988. Let's investigate and see if this is 1988. And now when I think about it, Underwater World must mean only one thing. Home video. Okay, so this is someone's home video, underwater world it seems. As you can see, they are looking at all the little creatures in the little tanks and all that shit. It looks pretty boring. It's just all sharks, it's all fish, it's all crap. And so far, I have not seen any of their family on the video. They have just been filming everything that is in the tank. So we're gonna fast forward. With a girl like you confidentially, I'll tell you this. Okay, they've taped over <laughs> they've taped over their home video of Underwater World for John Farnham. For John Farnham, uh, black and white John Farnham as well. This is before he even became fucking good John Farnham. This was fucking little geek John Farnham. I need to watch this. I need to watch a little bit of this for some reason. I don't know why I need to see some of this. Like you confidentially, I'll tell you this. I wouldn't if it wasn't so, but now I think you ought to know. Okay, these girls dancing are hilarious. <laughs> look at the girls. Look at them. Look at them jumping around. These girls dancing is just fucking spastic. They're just fucking dancing around like fucking idiots. Is he the worst kid in Australia? His crime spree started at the unbelievable age of six. He ends up in a gun shop with uh, rifles and police come along and uh, started shooting at him. Channel 7 special event. Jo he was in a gun shop and brought a gun at six. You probably aren't the worst kid in Australia, you, but your parents are probably the biggest fucking dickheads in Australia for letting you go there when you were six. What is wrong with people? Thanks, Johnny. Well, it's pretty hard to describe the, uh, the vibe down here at the moment. The excitement level's incredible. Some of these people have been here since 10 a.m. this morning when the expo gates first opened. Anyway, it looks like a John Farnham concert is starting now, so... Ah, uh... Uh, you seem pretty excited. What do you think you're going to be like by the time the concert comes around? By the time the concert comes around, look at him. He looks like he's fucking already had heat stroke. <laughs> look at the guy. Holy shit. Uh, are you asking yourself, what are you doing here? Yes, I have since 12 o'clock. <laughs> are, are you a... And you have since 12 o'clock. You've got a baby there a fucking looks like a newborn baby you've been there since midday so you can get your rocks off to watch johnny farnham and you've got a little fucking baby there a little baby's been fucking waiting all day wants to play with fucking toys and shit but no 
This is fucking why you're here in the league. You're rocked and shit and wait for fucking John Farnham, fucking mother of the year. Mother of the year. Big fan of John Farnham? Yes, I am. I love him. He's gorgeous. What can you just, what, what does he mean to you? What does he mean to you? Obviously, he means neglect to your child, like we just said. Neglect. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Baby will remember. Baby will remember when it gets older. Remember when you went to John Farnham? We were waiting there since 12 o'clock, 12 hours before Johnny got out. You didn't get any toys. Now the kid hates you. Hates John Farnham. Sing John Farnham last time to her seven times because he fucking never retires. You're the voice, try and understand it. Make a noise and make it clear. Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. Don't. She, that kid couldn't have. This is 1988, I guess. I hope that kid did not take up singing for professionally. Professionally. If you are that kid. If you're watching this and you are that kid that just sung that, comment down below. I want you on here, live with me, chatting. And I want you to sing that again. How long have you been here? Um, since about three. Since about three. Yeah. You feeling a bit tired? Yeah, I'm stuffed. Oh, don't worry. You'll get excited um, again. Can't wait for them. Uh Why were you wearing those glasses? She was... She was high as fuck. She was high and she was hiding it because she didn't want her parents to know that she was stuck. If you are that girl with those glasses, hit me up. I want you on this show live. I want, I want you on the show, on, on Talking Shit Live. Holy shit. I want to know why you're wearing those glasses. Is Who is that girl? Were you hiding, getting stoned from your parents? I want to know. I like it. John Farnham in his prime was fucking awesome. He had the best mullet. He was so good. Whispering Jack was such a good album. If you haven't heard it, listen to it. It's such a good album. He's the voice. He was the voice of Australia. But then he did too many last time to his... Uh, mm. So it looks like this is going to be a John Farnham concert now. So we're going to fast forward all the way to commercials. Feet or more, but I kept my feelings marked. And a bedraggled looking Iron Man crawled out of the surf and asked, Are you with HBF? What? Are you with HBF? Fucking, I hate it. I hate this ad, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I fucking hate it. We walked out to start the game, and I felt a sudden fright. Then I saw a pair of giant feet and a voice above me laugh. Are you with HBF? Are you with HBF? There's not another health fund that offers the same range. Are you with HBF? What was that? That was like fucking 18 year olds about to play against the fucking 14 year olds. That, that, that would have smashed him. That would have smashed him. Bang! She fucking would have knocked those kids out. Basically, that's what they were saying. Are you with HBF? Do you have insurance? Because these older kids are going to fucking knock these young ones out. That's just promoting bullying. I took Cheryl to a disco. The place looked pretty rough. The man on the door was rude. What's more, he asked questions that were tough. Are you with HBF? Are you with HBF? <laughs> now Cheryl thinks you're a weak little cunt. <laughs> now look at this drummer's mullet. This drummer's mullet is fucking sick. If I could grow a mullet, I want it to be like that. I want that mullet. I want that mullet. Look at that. I don't even care what sound is coming out of those drums. I just want to see that mullet on my head. I was getting married in the morning. Oh my my best man was running short of time. Jumped in his motor, can't pull this over. Get new tires or you'll be fine. So we went straight to our tires. They're the fast and friendly guys. They said, don't go insane. We're the best men in the game. The best men in the tire game. Best men in the tire game. We thank the boys very much. Thanks, mate. Turn the key and drop the clutch. The best men in the tire game. Best men in the tire game. Old tires. Best men in the tire Give us a ring. <laughs> that was good. Did you see where they're bouncing the tires? Look at the fucking idiots bouncing the tires. 
I like that ad. I like that ad, but then he fucking leaves his wedding ring behind. All because the cop has made him fucking change his tires. He was just trying to get to his wedding and he still had enough time to get to his wedding and change his tires, but he forgot his ring. I'd definitely get my fucking tires changed there. Deep beneath the city streets in a vast labyrinth of secret chambers. Where am I? A life was saved. Where no one can hurt you. Saved by a creature whose beastly appearance hides a noble heart. I've never regretted what I am until now. A classic tale, a contemporary fable, so extraordinary you must experience it. I can feel what she's feeling. I know what she's thinking. Beauty and the Beast, the premiere, 8.30 next Monday, presented by Morris Mead on 7. There was a Beauty and the Beast TV series? I actually I actually want to watch that. I want to watch that now. I think I'm going to watch it. I think Is it good? Tell me in the comments before I watch it. Is Beauty and the Beast TV series good? That preview looked good. It looked okay. It looked okay. Salt and vinegar, Sam boy. Chicken, Sam boy. Tomato sauce, Sam boy. Barbecue, Sam boy. Oh, oh. Sam boy chips. The flavour really hit you. The flavour did really used to hit you, and those tomato sauce fucking sandboy chips. Oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh. I can never find tomato sauce sandboy chips anymore. Never. I want them. When that clock strikes half past six, they turn to head for golden lights. It's a good time for the great taste. Yeah, at McDonald's. It's Mac tonight. Come on, make it Mac tonight. Okay, that could be one of the best ads so far that I've seen. That was wicked. I don't remember too many McDonald's ads when I was young because we didn't have McDonald's until I was, well, where I was living, we didn't have McDonald's until I was 17. I didn't taste McDonald's until I was 17. That was a cool ad. That was a cool ad. We had Hungry Jacks, we didn't have McDonald's. Now I fucking love McDonald's, man. Usually I just eat Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Well, I like them because they're quick and simple. And they're crunchy. Yeah, and they're crunchy. Because of the, uh, the simplicity and the flavour and the, eco the economy in price too. They, they compare more than favourably with all the other cereals. And you never ever get sick of the Kellogg's Corn Flakes. You still taste it when you get down to the milk. It's pretty hard to say when you say to a Corn Flake. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. The simple things in life are often the best. I know you'd be certainly nice to it. You'd be certainly nice to it. <laughs> but you'd be certainly nice to it. The flavour's still there when you get down to the milk. Fucking get it. Corn flakes have no taste at all. They don't have any taste. They're not like Fruit Loops or Cocoa Pops. Corn flakes are fucking shit. They fucking lied. They all lied to us. And we all brought corn flakes once or twice. And they fucking weren't as good as what they just said. Swedish botanical shampoos and conditioners. One for your hair color at a price that's great value. Halsa Marigold highlights blonde. Ginger root lights the fire of red. Whoa! Root lights the fire of red. Oh, calm down, Ginger. Calm down, Ginger. The, the shampoo ain't gonna take the color away. Ain't taking no color away. <laughs> okay. Willie Wheaties, the king of cereals. Really tasty, eh, Willie? Really? King Willie, Willie Wheaties. Full of fruit and nuts and puffs of wheat. You fruity, nutty Wheaties. <laughs> Sorry, they're just too tasty. Now there's delicious new fruit and nut Wheaties. I like the ad. Don't like the product. Catchy tune, though. Ooh, Willie, Willie's Wheaties. Do -do 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 Pour les pour Nestlé avec moi ce soir. 
Tonight, treat yourself to symphony, an ice cream and caramel sensation. Just one of the delicious Nestle's desserts. Tonight. So they totally ripped off uh, Lady Gaga. What the that fuck's that song? Lady Marmalade. They totally fucking ripped off Lady Marmalade. But that looked delicious. Does that not look fucking delicious? How have I never taken... Why did they get rid of that? Why did they get rid of that? I never got to experience that. Bring it back, Nestle. Bring it back, Nestle. Hashtag bring back whatever the fuck that is. Bring it back. I want that shit. I want it. Another Toyota Olympic tribute. The most controversial incident of the Los Angeles Olympic Games occurred in the women's 3,000 metres. With three laps to go, American favourite Mary Decker is overtaken by Zola Bud of Great Britain. They make contact once and again. This time Decker falls, injuring her leg. <laughs> she totally pushed her. She totally kicked her feet out from underneath her. You can't do that, Zola. Zola Bub was at first disqualified, but later reinstated when wiser counsel prevailed and the incident was seen for what it really was, a tragic accident. A tragic accident? She tripped her. She, tri- she tripped her straight up. Straight up tripped her. <laughs> so, okay, accident. Accidents happen, I guess. And in the funnel, supported by strings, a little push, a pattern appears. A balance of natural forces and energies. So too, Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate has natural goodness with a glass and a half of full cream dairy milk. Fucking hell, this old cunt's cooked. <laughs> Breakfast on the river, the day ahead looks fine. If we got milk, yep, we got sunshine. The weekly game is over, take a seat and let's unwind. If we got milk, yep, we got sunshine. Just four spoonfuls of Nestle's Instant Sunshine and you've got all the goodness of country fresh full cream milk any time you need it. The family show sure looks hungry, they've got mum's scones in mind. Have we got milk? Yep, we got sunshine. Keep a cow on the cupboard. That shit looks fucking gross. Absolute gross. Instant milk, instant powder into milk. Good ad though, just shows how fucking Aussie that ad was with the fucking uh, ding 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 Maggie noodles, fast to cook, good to eat. Fast to cook, good to eat. Maggie noodles, fast to cook, good to eat. Fast to cook, good to eat. Maggie noodles, fast to cook, good to eat. Fast to cook, good to eat. Maggie noodles, fast to cook, good to eat. Maggie two minute noodles, fast to cook, good to eat. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. That little ginger can love his noodles. He was frothing. He was fucking, I don't want to fucking stay at school no more. Fucking home from school so damn fast so we can get them noodles, man. He had no friends anyway, so he wanted to go straight home and have them noodles. All right, now it looks like we've got some Olympics. I don't know still what year this is. It must be 88 if they say on the cover it's 88. But uh, this little Asian kid, uh, look at it. Look at that. (laughs) <laughs> that was a flippity dippity. And wow, well done, kid. Well done. Look at this again. Uh, flippity dippity. How many was that? Was that four? Four flips? Four flippities. Let's count them. One, two, three. You'd count that as four. You'd count that as four. All right, we got USA going up next. USA, we've got uh, uh, Captain Steroid. Can we call him Captain Steroid? I don't know. He just got the grease from his hair. Uh, should we go, can we go this bigger? Can we go this bigger? Yeah, we can go this bigger. We can go this bigger. All right, here we go. He's going to do a flippity dippity. Can he beat four? Four from the Asian kid. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. One, two, three. Four. I lost count. I lost count. How many flippity dippities was that? I don't know how many flippity dippities. Oh, we got we got uh, we got Extony. Uh, we got China up. We've got China up again. This kid looks like. Hold on, the, the American guy. The American guy looks 
looks way older than this kid. This guy is just a kid. This guy is just a kid. Uh, the American looked a lot older than this one. Um, he's got little mini pets on him too. His little budgie smugglers. Uh, that's what we call budgie smugglers. Uh, little uh, jockeys that he's wearing there. How many flips did that other guy do? Well, we didn't count them, did we? We didn't count them. We didn't wait around to count them. Uh, but he's meditating. He's going, uh, he's meditating. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He went He went forwards first. He went forwards first. He could have cracked his skull. He could have cracked his skull. He's proud. Look at this. He went forwards. He could have cracked his skull. Be careful, Hong Wong Jing. Look at this. He's going to win for sure. He's winning for sure. Whoa. That was one, two, three, four. I, I, I lost count again. All right. We've got some weightlifting here. We've got some weightlifting. And oh, he's going to shit his pants. He's going to shit his pants. Just think about it and breathe. Breathe. He's like a frog. Look at him. Oh, his nuts are fucking nearly falling out of his little jockeys. And bang. You're not let it, at the gym, you're not allowed to throw the fucking thing on the floor like that. Why is he allowed to do it at the contest? That's disqualified. Disqualified. All right, we're going to fast forward through this running race shit. I can't be bothered with running. That's the end of the tape. All right, I was fast forwarding through the running and the tape is done. The tape is done. That is, we've established it's 1988. We've established it's 1988. Okay, so... Underwater World 1988 was 1988 with the Olympics on it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll be back next week to see whatever mystery tape is going to be next out of the box of mystery. So, so far in the tapes, episode one and episode two, we've had 1995 and 1988. So that's it, guys. 1988. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the fucking like button. Hit subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you can see hey, mystery tapes every single week. Every week. Every week I'm going to do this for you because I like watching these myself. I love seeing what's on this shit. Um, it's free to subscribe. It's free. It's free to fucking hit a thumbs up. It's free to do whatever you want in this world. Whatever you want. So let's do this. Let's do it. Come on. See you.